boys, Mr. Light is here with Digital Devil Saga. We are ready to go and deal with the enemy on this bridge we're on. First, we gotta actually get across the bridge, so yeah. First off, I want to equip this. Because we're gonna be running from all the fights here. So we can save as much energy as possible for the boss. Just so that we're not in a lot of trouble. But also, now that I say that, hang on. See what else I want to quit to give myself a bit of extra help. Is first strike. On everyone. I think it actually does stack. I'm not 100% sure, but... Eh, we can see what happens. Oh. You do not have first strike. Oh, whatever. No problem. Now, this is a very awkward place because what you gotta do is this. Activate this switch to raise the platform by stepping on that there. But you gotta do this like four or five times. It's really awkward really annoying but it's not difficult it's just really really repetitive I am not interested in what you have for sale right let's go to the next area yeah you see that over there yeah, we're going to be dealing with that on the other side, so prepare for that. Don't worry, I know what it's capable of. I know what to do about it. That thing is going to have a lot of trouble. You have to deal with me. Okay, next switch. Okay. Back we go, and up we go. I'm glad there's a staircase being put there, just in case we need to go back for any reason. Uh, I'm out here again. Still moving! We are pretty high up, aren't we? And we're still not at the top. We still have a lot of a way to go, but... Well, you'll see. I think after this bit where we reach the next elevator... It's quite amazing how much distance the next elevator covers. Okay, next one. Right, I think this is it. Okay. This is where it gets annoying. Let's go here a sec. Very careful. Right. Time to set ourselves up for the boss. We're going to need a couple of skills. First off, I want Executioner. I also want to have... Um... Uh... Do I have Fizz Resist? And also have Null Critical. Maybe that will be all that. Yo, also equip yourself with Critical. But I don't think it works on skills, but well, we'll see what happens. Uh, don't need any of that. Now for this. We are going to need to have 
Debilitate. Dakaja. And equip yourself with Tarakaja. Hang on a second. Replace critical with power charge. Okay. Next is you. You are you are also gonna have executioner. Along with Fizz Resist and no critical. Then you're gonna to need to have well clearly you're gonna need power charge abilities. You are also gonna have Tekunda. And you're also gonna have um Sukikaja. Now you are obviously not going to have the spells, sorry the attacks, you're going to have last words, you haven't got void, you haven't got any fizz resist which is kind of sad but you don't actually need it, you'll be fine, so you actually are going to be more of um, You're going to be helping us with other stuff. So you're going to have to build it eight. Ow. Here, I think. Then you're going to have Dakaja and Dakunda. You're going to be both of them. So have Tarakaja, Sukikaja, and Rakikaja. You are going to be just a plain old buffer. Right, I think this should do. Let's go and fight the boss. Ah, you were watching us, weren't you? Okay, whatever. You want us to leave? We aren't going to leave. Triple threat. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's begin with Tarakaja. Suki Kaja and ability. Good opening move. But this guy has this. He has torn. Now our defense is practically null and void. So are all our buffs. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted. But I'm gonna do a debility on him again. Then cast the Kunga on us. And another debility on him. Taunt again. And again. And another Dekaja. You really are pushing me here. What am I doing? I didn't want to do that. Oops, that was a mistake. Okay, I want to use... The Kunda again. And debilitate again. Now you are completely useless. You cannot hit me at all. But obviously except for that. Do you see how he just keeps doing this flipping move over and over again? He's not very smart. He keeps trying to get us completely powered down, but he's not really helping himself. Last word is almighty. Seriously, are you just going to keep doing this every time? You know, it's not going to work. Look at me, I'm going to screw you over. Yeah, I just did. Right, moving on to the second one. Yeah, there are two in a row here. So the buffs and debuffs remain. So for this one, again, stability. We are going to remove these flipping, annoying defense debuffs. 
I'm going to use medium armor here. Yeah? Now this one is a bit more annoying. He basically has a habit of using the, um, almighty like that. Uh, he's got that, that's annoying. He basically uses mind charge and power charge, then using all like all might and an attack to do a lot of damage. He has got to Kunda, but I'm hoping we can screw him over a bit so I can finish him off quickly. Um, pass your turn. Power charge. Let's see if he uses Secunda. Nope, he is an idiot. Wow, you really are an idiot. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Hard charge with you. And then pass your turn and power charge. Hallway, okay, you missed one of us, so that cost you two turns. And now you're completely screwed. Executioner is now going to take you off, and down he goes. Yeah, if you actually know what to do, it's like with any boss fight in this game, once you know what you're doing, it's really easy really not that difficult to beat them and you can say that about pretty much any Shin Megami Tensei game if you know what you're up against you can easily defeat the opponent the problem is it always is like really annoying to deal with games like this sometimes without a guide like, I have, like, Shin Megami Tensei, like, Lucifer's Corn, and this game, I literally had to use a walkthrough to beat them. Because they were so flipping ridiculous. Just get the skills back. And we want a neck resist. Because, like, there's loads of enemies in the game. You'll have no idea what many of them are capable of until it's too late. And I'm sure we all remember a certain enemy in Lucifer's Core referred to by Matador. Matador was a cheap scape in that game. He shouldn't have been at that point. Right, let's just save on the second slot. We're not stopping here because we are almost at the top. Yes, we are almost at the top. We are almost there. Finally. There's only a... There's a bit more to go, but we are almost flipping there. Finally. Right. Note we were on about four, floor 4,000, right? You saw that. Well, as soon as I can get off the elevator. Uh, Samuel. Right, we're going to need quick escapes. Floor 12,694. Yes. That is how high we've climbed. That is just... I can't believe that. Okay, this guy actually has a major floor. Murder rock. Try that again! It's a reusable item, so don't worry. There we go! Death, insta-kill. 
bit of a bonus, so that's good. Okay, seriously, what is with the encounter rate here? I've had like three battles since I've got off the elevator. Okay, moving up. Up. Oh, you can obviously tell something's gonna happen. There's gonna be a flipping barricade. Something's gonna stop us from proceeding. Sarah doesn't want us here. It's another invisible wall. Okay, we need to go this way then. Do we want to fight anymore? No. You know what? Considering we are almost at the top of the tower, I'm going to actually not do any more random encounters if I can help it. Anything behind me? Yeah, there is. I think that's a dead end. So let me just check. I just want to see if there's any treasure here. No treasure! Now, we've gone down quite a bit, but now we have to do this to get back up again. And this guy is now a flipping normal encounter. How is that even fair? Right, this is going to be a bit tricky, I believe. There's a wall there. This is treasure. So we get hold of that to Kaja Rock. If we go here, this is going to take us to this wall. So what we want to do now is go this way. Which will take us to here. So now we can go straight up. So that was simple enough. Yeah, more disappearing walls. Ooh. Okay, Horace. Murder rock on ya. Dead. Okay, that's that sorted. Now, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very good, very good, very, very good. Glad we got here. Okay, we're doing it. Yeah, I said no more encounters, but Horus is just an, an easy one to deal with. Horus is not that difficult. We have the advantage. Proceed. And neither is this one. I don't even know. I don't know why I even bother. Okay, Argella and Surf, they are yours. Easy. Right, continuing on. Another one, really? It's the same one again. You insist? And again, Surf and Argilla get the bonus. I think this video is going to be a bit longer. Hmm. I have to be careful how long I go on with this one. Treasure! Chakra pots! Awesome! Happy about that. Right, uh, this way. Hang on. If I remember, Samuel, run! Do not fight Samuels if you can help it. They are flipping crazy powerful. Right, I believe that's actually the way we have to go. So if I go in here, this should lead me to some extra stuff, I hope. 
What? Are you for real? This is... This is a flipping dead end! What? Seriously? This is nothing more than a dead end! What was the point in that room? I bet you that's going to be a, tr a place you get tr sent to if you fall down. Alright, back we go to these guys again. Come on, let's screw them over. Okay, no one gets a snack today, sorry. Oh, but we've got two level ups. I am now in the 50s. Very good. Right, so... Seriously? Please, enough with the random encounters getting in the way. Alright, next floor. Uh, is this, uh... Okay, where's this go? Right, uh... Hang on, I want to see what's going on down here. 